So today we're going to have a closer look at this Atom Millimeter Wave Sensor. I'll show you exactly what's inside the box and also we'll have a look at the actual controls and what they do to the functionality of the device and also give you some overall experiences that I've had using this device for two weeks now. So having a look inside, we've got a nicely plastic injected molded casing, which is much better than some of the 3D printed cases that we've got. And if we look at the device itself, we've got the LD2410 millimeter wave sensor over there on a breakout board. We've got our PIR sensor over here. We've got our Lux level sensor. And on the back, we've got a ESP8285 chip that's controlling this thing, USB-C, some header pins, and a boot button. So the LD2410C is a slightly different layout to the LD2410 without the C. Uh, it looks to be a more compact uh, or a more square layout rather than a, a long thin layout. As you can see here, it's got a voltage ground out and an RX and a TX. Um, so this is a pretty cheap looking sensor around the three dollar mark um, and designed for indoor use now this is very interesting because it says here that it's only designed for up to five meters whereas if we have a look at the actual adjustment here it's talking about up to 12 meters so i'm not quite sure about that i've checked it at about nine meters and it was working so pretty interesting um, so just having a look at uh, the rest, it's got a plus minus 60 degree angle, so pretty good angle, and it runs off 5 to 12 volts on the 24 gigahertz band. Right, so if we look at our different sensors here, we've got the blockade time. Now, this for me, I cannot figure out what on earth this is all about. I've done a lot of Googling, I've asked Atham, no one seems to be telling me what blockade time means, so I'm just leaving that. Detection delay is pretty simple. It's how long the, does the sensor take to actually sense movement. Now, all of these different adjustments are for the millimeter wave. They have no adjustment available for the PRR sensor. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just use this just to clear the sensor. And if I move my hand, one, two, three, takes about just over two seconds. If I push my detection delay up, and we'll just clear that. Start waving my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can see you've got your detection delay. That's pretty simple. Fading time, what this is doing is basically how long it takes until your PIR sensor uh, basically clears if it's not sensing any motion. Um, the distance detection, um, this one seems to work quite well if you put it really close. Um, yeah, it obviously doesn't measure you if you're quite far away, but if you push it right to the end, literally I was about nine meters away and it was detecting me, despite that sensor only saying five, so I was pretty impressed with that. The maintain, obviously what that is doing is it's measuring about how small a movement it's going to pick up. So I generally leave this around the central mark here, seems to work fine. And then the final one we've got here is the trigger sensitivity. Now what's really interesting about this is when I've got it on the sort of medium range, it was even picking me up on the other side of a drywall. So these things are amazing. You could actually put these up in your ceiling and they would still detect through the plasterboard. So it's pretty incredible. So anyway, that is my um, further in-depth run through of this Atom sensor. Very impressed with it. For the price, the build quality, I think this is a great little sensor. But I've got a new sensor that I've just ordered, and it's a really exciting one because this sensor can actually measure three different people in a room. So it can actually tell me how many people, one, two, or three, are in the room, and it tells me where they are, distance they are away, and all these sort of things. So really exciting. I've ordered it. It's called a Screek. Very cost-effective as well, and I will show you that the moment I get it. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a great week. Bye then.